so let's talk about uh, this question which is under pulley system Newton's laws of motion so the question is saying the diagram shows a block of m1 to be 4 cages slide that slide on a lap horizontal table it is attached by a light and uh, inextensible string to m2 is equal to 6 okay so here we have m1 to be equal to 4 then m2 to be equal to 6 cages if the block accelerate at 4.9 so the acceleration is 4.9 meters per second squared find the coefficient of friction between the block and the table now one thing we have to understand is that uh, as these two uh, block we are sliding the only block which experiences uh, friction is M1 because the one which was in contact with the surface okay so what is the friction force friction force is given by mu times the normal force now which normal force are we talking about we're talking about the normal force for M1 and the normal force is M times G so I'm going to specify to say M1 times G so the friction force will be now mu then m 1g just like this now I don't know the friction force so I can't use this now what I'm going to do is since I've, I've been given the acceleration I'm going to use the summation of all the forces to be equal to uh, I'm going to say what force do we have the only force that makes the system to go down is the normal force of this one or the weight force of m2 so I'm going to say this is going to be m2 g like that so it's going to be m2 g but this has to overcome the friction force it's going to be minus the friction force so I'm going to say minus friction force like that but since we have got acceleration I'm going to replace this with mass times the acceleration but I've got two uh, masses so I'm going to say m1 plus m2 in the brackets then here I'll put l to be equal to m2g minus the friction force now the friction force is mu times m1g like that now what I'm going to do here is my goal is to find the mu value so I'll shift this to the left hand side and I'll shift this to the right hand side okay so I'm going to have mu times m1g should be equal to m2g minus m1 plus m2 then in the brackets I have got that we can divide both sides by m1g even here m1g so these can cancel our goal is to find the mu value so we can clearly see that our mu value will be equal to what is my m2 my m2 is 6 6 times 9.8 I put them in brackets minus then m1 is 4 plus m2 is 6 then the acceleration is 4.9 everything has to be divided by uh, m1 is 4 then times uh, g is 9.8 so what would be our value for mu so we're going to have 6 times 9.8 that is giving me 58 58.8 minus I'm going to say 4 plus 6 is 10 10 times 4.9 that is 49 I'll put 49 here I divide this by 4 times 9.8 and remember the mu value should always be less than 1 so as we are solving this the moment we discover that the answer is 1 or greater than 1 greater than or equal to 1 then the answer is wrong so down part I'm getting 30 39.2 so our mu value now is going to be 58.8 minus 49 I divide this by 
Okay. I'm getting 0 0.25. 0 0.25. It doesn't have um, units. Now, I will repeat this. I want I want us just to confirm. The down part we have 9.8. So I want to see if 0 0.28 is indeed the correct answer. So, I'll punch. Um we are saying we have 4.9 down. So I'll put 4.9 there. So that 4.9 times 9.8. 9.8 9 times 4. Okay, is that 9? So the correct answer for this question is 0 0.25. As simple as that.